out of the way so I could go home with my own. We'll begin in a moment, but at this time... Have a good day, y'all. Come on, come on, we can count them off for him, right? I'm so heavy, man. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, something makes sense right there. Basics, like how to wear your uniform, where your ribbons go. We are holding the first annual Southern Oregon Trade and Career Expo for Southern Oregon. Um, we've invited the high schools from Douglas County, Josephine and Jackson County area high schools. We were targeting the high schoolers that were juniors and seniors to come out and take a look at the trades programs. A lot of times the students feel that there's community college courses and four-year universities. This is filling the gap that's needed in the state of Oregon in the utilities, construction and manufacturing arena. And so by allowing them to come out here today and expose them to hands-on activities where they really get to explore and ask pretty in-depth que questions to all the exhibitors. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a deep piece of equipment. It takes a lot of practice. I bet. A lot of practice. 30 more seconds. So I was excited about the, um, the trades fair, the Southern Oregon trades fair, because it dovetails perfectly with what I teach, what, because I teach um, career and technical education. And an awful lot of my students go on to um, four-year uh, universities or two-year and then four-year, but an awful lot of them go two-year and then into the trades and because they get certificates and that's their pathway to go through that. And some of them just go straight from my classes where they're learning skills that can correlate directly to trade industry. So to have everything at that one venue and um, the trade so w well represented. Um, I think that was a great opportunity, and it by far was one of the best trades that I've been to since I've been teaching. Honestly, there was really good connection just with the vendors in, um, like Knife River was there, and and um, you know one of my students spent like more than twenty minutes talking to Knife River about all the different um, opportunities that they have. Um, and that was really cool to see like the different things that I could uh, actually do with the things that I'm learning in here as well. I really enjoyed just seeing how many different things you can do with just this one thing we've been learning in class. Like I didn't realize that there was just so many different options for this one skill that we've just been playing around with really in here. <laughs> what have I told you? While well, it's in basic training alone, I, I see the reactions on the people's faces here. And I've asked a couple of them, and they have all said thank you. So that tells us that we did a great job, and we will, you will see us again in 2019.